And welcome back in the heart of the Bronx. There's a place where the magic of childhood comes to life. It's a place that sparks curiosity, creativity, and a lifelong love of learning through some hands-on experiences. The Bronx Children's Museum has been a beacon of possibility since its humble beginnings. It's an outreach program touching the lives of children and families through an initiative, and I should say innovative, educational events. And here now to tell us more is the Executive Director of the Bronx Children's Museum, Denise I do say, and thank you so much for being with well, us. Thank you for inviting the Bronx Children's Museum, myself, to represent the museum to your show. Well, look, you've done some great work. We've had some history with the Bronx Children's Museum, oh, and glad to have you here with us. Well, thank you. And so, there's a, they got, you have a few programs going on, right? You we got do. some things going on. And so, I know the Children's Museum has um, really been a highlight, and for people who come to our borough, um, they speak so highly of the experience of coming and visiting. But for somebody who's never been to, to the Children's Museum, before we do anything, tell them about it. Absolutely. So the museum is a place for children to come and explore and also learn about the Bronx. Our museum can't be picked up and brought to anywhere else. We celebrate the mm -hmm. Bronx. So when a child comes in, they can go to our waterway, which is a replica of the Harlem River. They can play in Harlem River and right outside is the Harlem River. We can go into the casita and and pretend play, barbecue, create a garden, um, and also work on their executive function. Mm -hmm. Or we can go into the book bodega and take out a book. Um, the Bronx has, has one book to every 259 kids. And 70% of third graders are not reading at the level that they should. Mm -hmm. And so we made sure to one, that one of our exhibits highlight that, and we give out free books to every child that walks in. The first art children see is in a children's book. Right. And so we want kids to, to really appreciate that and also um, develop a love of learning and reading. Yeah. And I think the one thing that really stands out for me is that people walk away with this great cultural experience. You know, you know a little something about the Bronx, but then also you get acclimated to our arts, you know, in, in a new kind of way, in, in an interesting kind of way. Yeah. So every single artist in our ABC collection is from the Bronx or connected to the Bronx. And so we feature Andre Trenier, who has about 34 murals throughout the Bronx. So mm -hmm. we made sure we put his mural inside our museum. We've also worked with him to create a, a celebration of the Yankees right outside our door mm -hmm. as well. So whenever anyone drives by our museum, they're going to see Jarek Jeter. They're going to see CC Sabathia looking at them. Um, and that was something we worked with the Yankees on. Beautiful, beautiful. And for kids who come in after school, I know there's a for after school program too. Yeah, so we're developing that. So okay. we're going to be installing a new tech center and that's for our older kids. Mm -hmm. And so that's for them to, to explore design and digital art. Um, the museum was originally developed for kids who were zero to nine, but there's a gap between the, Bro the Bronx Children's Museum and the, Bro and the Bronx Museum. So we wanna make sure that our teenagers and our middle schoolers, they know that the Bronx Children's Museum is for them too. Mm -hmm. We had a wonderful program this summer where we had interns who came in and one of our interns said, this was the most amazing experience I've had. I've never been inside a museum. Forget working in a museum. Mm -hmm. And he thanked us for that experience and he asked, can I bring my little brother next time? Wow. Yeah, and so the answer was absolutely. That's great. When I think about the Bronx, we think about there's such great parkland that we have. I mean, it's a, it's it's with the borough parks. I mean, there's mm -hmm. so many there's so many parks. But then also with the parks, there's been this talk about you know environmental justice is being done because there's so much injustice being done in our parks. That's another show, another time, mm -hmm. all by itself. But the reality is, there's this environmental awareness that needs to occur. And yes. uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about that because I know that rings true with you as well. Absolutely. So. The Bronx is the greenest borough. We right. have the largest greenest area in New York City, and most people don't know that. But we celebrate that in the museum. When you come in, you can play in our Beaver's Lodge and build out a Beaver's Lodge. We can also we also have a program called Nature of the Bronx, where we go into schools and we give them tour and we work with the kids and give them tours of Orchard Beach, Bent Cortland Park. We bring them to the Bronx Zoo. We bring them to the New York Botanical Gardens. So we're not just giving people a tour of our museum. We're giving people a tour of the Bronx. Right. Because we feel like when children think about their borough, they should be proud of it and they should know what's here. Mm -hmm. And so we're an educational institution, but we're also about having a lots of fun and making it a magical experience for our kids. Yeah. And my last thing about talking about exposure, and mm -hmm. I think this, this could parallel here too, because there is a level of exposure that 
kids are getting because sometimes kids from their community don't really go and venture out. But they when you come know. to the museum, you get to see, hey, there's, you know, we've got Mod Haven, we've got Riverdale, we've got the exactly. Park Chest, we've got Throg's Neck, Co-op City. Somebody's going to email me and say I left their bird. <laughs> I got you. The Bronx. Yes. You know, there's so many parts of the Bronx out there. And we haven't left them out. We haven't left them off at all. So when you come into the museum, you can also <laughs> go to, we have a map on the floor of the entire Bronx, mm -hmm. and you can see all the wonderful places you can visit. So when you come into the Bronx Children's Museum, you're going to learn about our, our, our culture here, and you're going to find out where you can go next. Yeah. And we want our kids to know there are so many wonderful opportunities here in the Bronx. We have a vibrant culture. We have wonderful families. And we're a children-friendly borough. Talk to me about this because I've often said on this show, one of the problems that I have with our educational system is the things that we do. And one of the things we do is we like to cut, cut arts and uh, music, uh, you know, uh, sports. Those are the first things that usually mm -hmm. get cut out of the budget. But without the arts, you know, there's another, there's so much that people have the, you know, potential to miss. And particularly in the lives of young people mm -hmm. who really become stimulated so much by the arts. So the arts is how children learn. So when child is painting, they're working on the fine motor skills and the strength to be able to hold a pencil and write your name. Mm -hmm. When a child is putting a puzzle together and, and, and also selecting materials, they're problem solving. They're learning their colors and we're learning our shapes through arts. And so this is how children learn. So it makes sense for us to invest in our museum and invest in the arts because that's how a child's wild, brain is wired. Right. So painting turns into writing. And so if we want them to have, to be able to, to sign their name or be able to, to, to write one day, they have to first paint. Singing so, practices verbal skills. All of those arts are so important for our education. Well, you took some art uh, and did some things here too. Uh, put it to, put it Absolutely. to, yeah, put it to work here. We got a book and a, Talk to us about this book because it's very special. Absolutely. So I am, by day, I'm the executive director of the Bronx Children's Night, uh, Bronx Children's Museum. And by night, I'm also an author. Okay. So my, I just released my first children's book, book on June 4th, and it's about a deaf girl who wants to dance in Carnival. We know that we have a significant Latin American and, and West Indian community here in the Bronx. My book reflects that. And so it is Deaf Awareness Month and also Latin American History Month. And so we are celebrating at the Bronx by giving away my book. Um, and so please come by the museum, get a copy, um, and learn more about our, our borough. And awesome, awesome, awesome. So as we talk about this book, how long did it take you to get to make? So I signed my book deal in 2019. Mm -hmm. It took a little bit of time. COVID, COVID slowed up yeah. a lot of things in publishing. But, um, and, but it was also working with such a wonderful illustrator. It was her first time illustrating a children's book. She's also deaf. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted authenticity in this book and also giving opportunities to deaf artists. And so we worked together and Amazing. we got her first book illustrated out. Amazing. Amazing. So all you have to do is what? How do they, how do they get the book? They can go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble's, any local children's bookstore. Um, and you can find the book there. But I'm really proud. Uh, for me, at the, at the museum, we say we, we exhibit possibilities, illuminate pathways, and celebrate all children. And one way to do that is by being what you say you are mm -hmm. or the possibilities children can be. And so for me, being an artist is very important for kids to see that people like them can be artists, can be executives. Um, and so when you walk into a museum, you're going to see the Bronx reflected in the art and also in the people who work there. So we get the executive, and then we get the author when you come to the Bronx. Exactly, Museum. absolutely. Denise, it's a pleasure having you. It was you. a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right, listen, I want you to know if you want more information, visit the website at bronxchildrensmuseum.org. Encourage you, don't go anywhere. We'll be back coming up with more open right after this. Thank you.